Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to my Let's Play Sasha King Revels. This is episode 109. I'm Avidopia, and we're getting close to seeing Sasha King out, I believe. Okay, where's my people? I don't know. As you can see in the map, we're trying to uncover this, and Sasha King believe is here. I'm trying to remember, did I cover it all the way here? Yeah, I must have done because I've got my own units here. I was like, have I been up here? Well, I got buildings, so I thought I must have. Ho, 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 ho. Yep, I definitely been up here. Oh, I haven't done this bit though. Okay, so there's a little section here I've not done. Crud. But I can teleport there, so that's not a problem. Okay, go back to my guys. <clears throat> and that's the name of. Ooh, my new place ain't good. Is that to do too? Okay, so basically, I'll do these two and start moving on up. I guess I just have to keep moving on up here. Then from here, probably teleport. And I can probably teleport back to here and then start going into this. Okay, my eyes are up here! <clears throat> this is a nice inn that caters to wealthy merchants in the common room. You see a travelling salesperson approaching different women, offering to make children with them. Okay, I was expecting offering to make children with them. <laughs> Earning many slaps for his troubles. With doom so close at hand, it's natural people would seek the companionship of others. But this act offends you, if only for its sheer clumsiness. Offer him some tips, offer him a job. Kick him out of there. Kick him out of there. There's up here. Excuse me, is this lady bothering you, you say to the man? He looks at you confused, insisting she wasn't. That's awful, you say, ignoring him. I'll have to separate you two. You grab him uh, by the arm and separate him out of the room, and in a pile of soiled hay, in this, uh, the horse stalls. Upon returning, everyone claps and offers you many drinks. Oh, seriously? Oh, no, no, that's good, that's good. Social King System Point 4. Good, good. I thought it went up. I was like, no! I know you ain't nice. <clears throat> okay. Into the cave. Splash, splash! A well, was a trodded path leads you to the entrance of a flooded cave. You take off your shoes and wade in, soon finding a secret lair used by the Social King's forces stacks of scrolls line the walls, obviously to be used in the coming war. A pair of fallen apprentices tend to the scrolls, sorting and organising them. Sack the villains! You splash out of the water. There's just no elegant way to do that, and by the time you make it ashore, everyone there has seen you and is ready to murder you. Well, the feeling's mutual. Oh, seriously? Everyone's two. They're dead. Yeah. Finish her. Finish her! And if you don't kill her, you can go get over here. <laughs> She's into more combat for some reason. So much magic going off in the confined space has destroyed many of the scrolls, but you managed to find a few which survived. Courage, fame, escapes, growing, then in the fireball. Nice, nice, nice. I'm upgrading this one still. What else is a city? Okay. Oh, so I, I need um, one of these then. Every city needs to have one. Okay, of course. So I've got to do that too. When you. We have enough to knit them too. Magic storage. This cave is surprisingly well lit, filled with stacks and stacks of books and scrolls, and a busy librarian, 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 going through them all. He explains that his order has long kept scrolls and other tombs stored here, uh, but when the last librarian passed away, if it fell to him to reorganize the stacks, he begs your help to move around some of the heaviest crates of scrolls. Of course I'll help. As you begin moving stacks of scrolls around, you notice that some of them are quite rare and powerful and that the librarian isn't paying attention to you at all. You know, stealing is technically wrong, and also morally and legally wrong, this opportunity might be too good. Take a scroll, don't take any. What you what use is there defending civilization if the people within it are uncivilized themselves? You finish the work without touching a thing, and I feel pretty smug about it too. The librarian thanks you for your efforts, and offers you a few scrolls of books of reward. Set this reward, refuse a reward. Yeah, keep the sushi going now's good. I cannot accept this, you say. There will do more they will do more good in your collection, the librarian nuts beaming at you. How's he doing over here then? I'm wondering that good good good. Keeping that down. Ow, next turn. Courage distraction. Tales of your cut of courageous feats in battle have I haven't really been new I guess I guess a little cave was a kind of a battle. 
And then moving books. Yeah, I mean, epic battle moving books. Uh, feet in battle have reached the social king, distracting him. At a crucial moment, during the casting of the spell, where until he is at my next feet. Sister, uh, efforts have been set back a few battle days. Nice. See, ah, serious under attack. Oh, thank god. This is not good. Okay, it's my go, so I'm going to have to use a spell. Summons. Um, he's one of the best summons I have. Fire one's pretty good, isn't he? Costs a lot, but. Just only it's around the book, kind of want to get the first shot in. Okay, who makes who makes sense to go for you? Apparently anybody, because you don't do any damage. So hopefully this guy can. Seriously, dodged. <clears throat> Very good. And he's webbed, but as long as he keeps attacking him here, it's fine. Just to do bypass him. So if he leave him alone, he's webbed and I'm screwed. Come on. Fire's hurting them. Oh, don't die. Fudge. Oh, okay. That didn't help. Uh. <laughs> Mental. <coughs> she does better. So these four, we lose this place. <sighs> Seriously? Another summons. Uh... Ice. Okay. <coughs> Double whammy? Good. Better. Double whammy? Even better. Uh, there we go. Okay, yeah, we've got this now. Whew, I was getting a bit worried initially, but we've got this now. Oh! Seriously, it's dodging. <laughs> Seriously, dude! I like that, he's like looking at him like, what are you doing? And then he just splats him. <laughs> okay, so here they come. So three more pioneers coming out. I might, I can always need extra pioneers, don't we? There's no room to pull them though. Ugh. Okay, if she... Actually, I'll just teleport now, it wastes, but at least I know where I'm going with it. No, 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 I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Do I just pass? Move here and pass. We can start moving Mosian up here, take your knees out, clear this last section off like we said we wanted. And then we can start moving into Social King. So hopefully in a few episodes we actually finish this. Like I say once I finish this, I've already started uh, as this goes out, uh, Star Control's already going out on the same day as this, but when this starts Star Control we'll take it slot and uh, so we be moved up in the day. Because I think at the time I do another one of these, you never know, it could be another Social King or another elemental game. But for now I think Star Control should take spot. And so I might be finished with when the next one comes out. Because the thing is, I can't have I have a lot of games to do for my channel, and it gets quite hard when you've got so many on the go. Like I said, the idea will be 16 for the channel would be ideal for me to do. That's two go two going out a day. It doesn't always happen that way. And my seat is going funny on me. One second. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> okay, so where did you need to go now? Ah, Spire's been home, so I'll head to that to destroy that. I can take this bit out and call it. Shot attacked. Go to where? <coughs> oh, seriously, you pull me away. <sighs> okay, I didn't see where it was getting attacked from. Pull me away. You're Max now, aren't you? Yeah, I think my song is matched. Okay. So 
on this section. Okay, your friends. So yes, I need to do this little section. And then it's a teleportation or do I just keep moldying up? Then it's teleport here and do these. Okay, nice. Make sure these are full too. So it's only about three or four turns. I think it's four of these makes it area, isn't it? Curse are disturbed. As you descend the steps of this uh, steps to this tomb, a booming voice fills the air. All those who enter are doomed. Enter. <laughs> this is going to be one of these things, isn't it? Where it's, it's going to be like um, the Elbert Road. Uh, you know, uh, I am whatever, etc. And you get there, and he's a little man behind the curtain. You step boldly inside, within seconds, feeling the telltale. Oh, seriously? Telltale? I'm saying that because I was recording this, I found out about five, six days ago. Obviously, this is going out probably a few months from now, but five, six days ago of recording this. Telltale, the company, of course. People make Walking Dead. In the middle of the final season, I basically fired 250 people. I think they've got 25 people left to finish Minecraft off. And um, if you're a gamer, you probably know all this anyway. Uh, so I'm a little disappointed with that. But I had read something yesterday. They said there's a potential for other buyers to help finish it. Fingers crossed they will. Also, I've heard something about they hadn't paid severance pay for the people, what they should have done. So, you know, they need to pay that. They need to finish Walking Dead off. And, and to, me, to me, the games are good. And I heard the people always, well, the games don't work and that. I've never had a problem with them. I've never done them on my channel, granted. I was just done them for fun at home. But I've never had a problem with them being, uh, you know, all janky and that. And I've worked on every computer I've had. Because I've bought them since The Walking Dead Season 1. So, like they said, that's like six years ago. And I've had three computers since then. The uh, reason I had three computers, one, I moved to America in that time period. So I couldn't bring a computer with me. So I bought a new one, and then that one happened to conk out. If you watch my channel, I think I told you at the time, I forgot when, it was a year, two years ago, two and a half years ago. And I now have a new computer still, and of course my wife has a computer, so technically, I don't think that actually, I was going to say technically it's one of four computers, but I've never played the Walking Dead on her, so. On the three computers I've owned. <clears throat> and I had a problem. Okay, let's get back to this. Uh, it's Telltale. Sinking sensation, and a magical curse has been placed on you. I haven't. Hadn't even taken anything yet, you shout. The voice then booms again. That nearby warlock can remove the curse for a small fee. One final boom, this time the voice cackling. <laughs> I'm fine. Curse Summers, I'm fine. Mm. <coughs> I'm wondering about this one. Because I can see that the warlock, but I think this is based, like I said, a yeah, but roll scenario. I did happen. Oh, fudge. Wrong decision. You don't have time to deal with every curse based scam merchant in the world. You had. Neither... Oh, fudge. Okay, that makes sense now. I go to deal with him, and then I said, that's just scam anybody else. Duh, what? Stupid. That was a stupid thing I just did. Uh, that makes sense when you think about it logically, and I didn't. I just thinking, nah, I don't want. It. I was thinking, my my logic was, nah, screw you, I don't want it. And then he's, no, no, wait, 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 no, you need, you need this, and I could deal with him. I said, I've left him there to scam someone else, haven't I? Basically, oops. going to die. Watch this intently. Yeah, I'm going to get to turn. I'm going to do that on our own. That ain't good. Oh yeah. There we go. That was another group. Wow, look at this turn. <clears throat> hey, 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 don't you sneak off. Waste more time. Chasing stragglers. 
Oh, there's the castle. Was that a Condor Mystic? Oh, it's really about 15 minutes 30 seconds, so it should be ending this episode actually. So, once this battle's over, we'll end it. So, please like, please subscribe for me, and when you subscribe, please hit the bell. Please share this video, share, share, share. If you like like Star.Games, is what this is. I do Gal Save on my channel, so I could start it up. Oh, and also Aces. They're, I think they're published by Stardog, and they help with that a bit. Not Aces, sorry, that's 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 my wrestling. Um, ashes, I meant. Ashes, a singularity, escalation. That's what I meant, not Aces. Aces is the in fiction company uh, that I do that runs FirePro currently and IWD is the in fiction company that runs Protoss X company uh, currently <laughs> okay, I'll just grab this quick then we'll end I think yeah we should be getting this time so have a great day everyone bye